Hello there, everyone. Thank you for joining us for Devotionables, brief devotions for busy people. My name is Gabriel. Today, as we end the year in Devotionables, again, just want to talk again about God's Word and uh, want to invite you to join us. So we're going to read 260 of the most foundational chapters in the Bible next year using the F260 Bible Reading Plan. And uh, you can find a copy. You can Google F260 Bible Reading Plan, or if you're a fan of the Version app on, the, uh, on your phone or iPad or whatever kind of device you're using there, you can find that. And it's a helpful, helpful tool to, to get through God's Word more than maybe you have in the past or, or maybe just to change up your normal Bible reading plan. So I would encourage you maybe to get a, a handful of people to read through together, to encourage one another, to uh, keep each other accountable. And, and, and I will say this, and this is actually how we began the year in devotionables, is don't let perfection stop you from growing. You know, a lot of times maybe you get... You get started on a particular Bible reading plan, and you, you say, I, I've, I've messed up. I'm like a week and a half behind, and then you just then you try to catch up, and then you just feel overwhelmed, and you're like, well, I'm just going to quit. Well, you, and this plan to see wherever we are, like, oh, yep, I'm just going to hop in right there, because the point is not about perfection, but it's about, it's about abiding in Jesus, about loving God, walking in His ways, and being with Him in His Word. So... And in fact, there's nowhere else we can go. Uh, you know, you think about different things in life. A lot of people, they give you good advice, whether you're, uh, well, I say, let me put that in air quotes, right? It's good advice to them. They have, everybody's got an opinion on everything in life, right? And, uh, and wherever you are in life, you got a lot facing you. But God alone, and His Word is the, the, the arbiter of truth and will guide you into all wisdom. In, in John chapter 6, Jesus has just fed uh, maybe it words of 25,000 people. We know he, he fed 5,000 men. And he fed them with just uh, five loaves of bread and a couple of fish. And they're, they're here in this, in this backwoods town. And it's like, where are they going to get food? And Jesus is asking his disciples to give them something to eat. And they, he knew what he was going to do. He fed these people. And then after sending them away, he, Jesus walks on water. So these two miraculous, amazing signs, powerful signs. And then the next day, the crowds come back. They want more. Like, hey, this guy, he's got something going on. He's just creating food. Let's make him king, right? But Jesus, he, he sees through this. He knows that uh, they don't want him for who he is, but rather what he can do. And if we're being honest, sometimes we all kind of get into that little way of thinking and way of life. Like Jesus, this, this little genie in a bottle, grant us wishes. But Jesus is the king of the universe. He's the king of kings, the Lord of lords. Who are we to come to him this way? And he begins to tell him about who he truly is. He's not some king who's going to throw off the Roman oppression for them and to give them meals in the, <laughs> the wilderness whenever they're hungry. He is a king who de- demands allegiance. He demands that we put to death what is earthly in us, that we, we quit messing around with these little sins that we like to entertain, but that we come to him as the bread of life, who alone can satisfy us. And they, there was too much for them to hear. It was too, they couldn't take, this is a hard saying, right? The gospel, Jesus' identity, right? That he's the, the bread of life that comes down from heaven. And so that many of the disciples, they just go out and it's, they leave Jesus. And Jesus looking at his, the, those who are remaining. Uh, do you also want to leave? And, and, Peter, and Peter, speaking for the group, he says, Lord, to whom shall we go? You, you have the words to, of eternal life. And we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. You know, we, a lot of times we just have too many voices in our ears. We're seeking to... Too many things from too many different gurus, listening to too many podcasts, too many TED Talks, too many articles. And we really just need to quiet things down. And again, all truth is God's truth. Some of these things, they can be good. They can say true things. But if we get a steady diet of that and we're not coming to the one who alone has the words of eternal life, it puts our discipleship in a shaky spot where maybe one day the words of Jesus become too harsh and we find ourselves walking away like those who just wanted the, the goodies He could provide for them instead of Jesus Himself, whom we should feast on as the bread of life. So in 2023, I encourage you just to, to feast on Jesus, who alone, who alone has the words of eternal life. 
And so maybe you'll read along with us in the Bible this year as we do the F260 Bible reading plan or whatever plan you do. And just read it to know God, to, to love Him and to walk in His ways. God's blessings upon you this new year.